You're watching Johnny Hockey. So I like the Habs and the Sens. So looking at this little saga that went down after last night's game, it's like watching your kids argue for me here. And I'm just on the outs watching this. Consider me impartial in this one. But after watching Brady Kachuk snatch the game away from heading to overtime, after not one but two heroic goals from the guy dubbed Un God She Knew, a.k.a. Raphael Harvey Pinard, a.k.a. the new Brendan Gallagher, apparently. I think he's quicker and maybe, dare I say it, even a bit more skilled than number 11 for the Habs. But he really came to play here. However, the captain of the Ottawa Senators, the guy that the Montreal Canadiens could have had third overall in 2018 instead of Jesperi Kotkaniemi. I'm sorry to rub the salt in the wound. He wins the game late for the Ottawa Senators here. And if you go on Twitter, all I saw was, yes, the Sens getting flamed on Twitter, but also people were really not happy with number seven, Brady Kachuk. Obviously, notably Habs fans, but I saw a few general NHL fans not happy about this either, which was honestly pretty nuts to see, and we gotta talk about it. Look, this game was a back and forth shootout where Ottawa would take the lead, then Montreal would come back and tie it, and bang, 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 keep going like that. But it was really, really emotional. There was a ton of juice in the building. Brady Kachuk talked about it after the game, how much juice was in the building. But there's two things that I'm seeing Kachuk get a little bit dragged for online. First thing was when him and Arbor Jacki were getting into it and Kachuk refuses to drop the gloves with the Sheriff number 72. And he does, I wouldn't say he turtled, but it kind of was a little bit shades of Matthew Kachuk from a few years back with Zach Cassian. So he did get a little bit dragged for that because Kachuk, we know he can drop him and he can go to town with guys, but he decided not to on this one. And it was probably a business decision, but still people were going after him and people are not happy that number seven didn't drop him with Arbor Jack Eye. And of course, people are saying, oh, he's scared of him, he's scared of him, he's scared of him. I'm not so sure he's scared of him. In fact, I'm almost certain he wasn't scared of him, but there was something going on there. But the one where I was like, Brady, what are you doing, man? Like, he's just trying to rile people up, was after he scored the game-winning goal, and he didn't even know it was a game-winner at the time, he goes for the title belt celebration to rub it in the, the faces of the fans of the Montreal Canadiens. And look, I'm not going to go and say it was disrespectful or anything. I don't think it was. But I will say, and I will echo the tweet from Scott Matla, imagine doing a title belt celebration when you're seventh in the Atlantic Division and barely beating half an AHL team, LMAO. And look... I'm going to come out and say it. I love Brady Kachuk. He's honestly one of my favorite players in the entire National Hockey League. But this was a little cringe. And I do understand the flack he's taken for this one. A title belt celebration. It just, it wasn't the place nor the time. I mean, I'm sure he thought it was going to look cool. And again, I love the Sens. I'm, I'm a Sens guy. But it just, it wasn't the time nor the place for him. It came off as cringe. I was like, Brady, what's going on here? Why the title belt? Come on. You couldn't have thought of something a bit more low-key than acting like you won the WWE Championship? Come on. So yeah, needless to say, Brady is taking the heat online. It's nothing that he's not used to, however. And I gotta say that I still have a ton of respect for Brady Kachuk. And Habs fans, all of them who are chirping him and who are giving it to him online... You best believe most of them, if not all of them, would have loved for Bergevin Company to draft Kachuk instead of Kotkaniemi at third overall in 2018. But he's a rival. It's okay to hate a rival. It's fun and awesome, actually, in the game of hockey, as long as it's kept within the boundaries, nothing personal or anything like that. I think it's all fair game. It's cool. A little friendly banter on both sides. If you're Brady Kachuk, you can't pull the title belt celebration and not expect some heat to come your way from Habs fans. Come on. So, it's good fun. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below, of course. As usual, you want to see more stuff like this, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.